Rosa Sherloch was 11 years old and she had never been to school simply because she had a twisted foot. As Rosa grew, her foot began to give her problems. Neighborhood kids made fun of her and it gave her pain at night. It was more convenient and cheaper to keep her at home than to send her to school. Years passed and Rosa limped around the house helping take care of her younger siblings. Then one of Rosa's sisters told some missionaries about the problem with her foot. Soon a nurse visited her home. Sure enough, her foot was extremely twisted to the point that she nearly walked on her ankle. With the help of the missionaries and Aselsi, Rosa received an appointment with an orthopedic doctor, and soon she was on her way to the capital, three hours away, for another doctor's appointment, along with a van load of other patients who needed special surgeries too. Rosa was 12 when she had her first surgery. After just a few weeks to heal, she went back for her second surgery. Thanks to generous surgeons and a group of school children from Kansas who raised money to help pay for her travel and surgeries, Rosa finished her operations and returned home. Soon she began a year of therapy to the Center for Physical Motor Assistance at Aselsi. She was so scared and nervous and she just she just started crying I think from just the attention that she was getting and little by little she began using the crutches, the cast was eventually removed. It's been amazing to see the change from a year ago until today because she's changed not only what she can do physically because she's walking around without anything but her just demeanor. She's smiling, she's got a lot more joy and you can just see a confidence that just wasn't there before. With her improved foot, lots of caring therapy, and a growing sense of confidence, Rosa was overcoming the main obstacle that had kept her hidden away in her home for the past 12 years. On the day she finished her therapy at Aselsi, she cried with the therapist who had helped her take so many physical steps toward her dream of being able to walk like other children. Mm -hmm. Ahora ella puede caminar, y camina mejor que cuando llegó aquí, no caminaba así. Yo he visto el gran cambio en ella que Ahora ya, ya tiene mucha confianza. Rosa received a scholarship to start school for the first time. At 12 years old, she joined kindergarten students half her age to open up a world of learning she'd never had the opportunity to enter before. Now 13, Rosa's slight limp and her shy but infectious smile showed the many steps she's taken from being a frightened little girl stuck at home to a confident teenager who is learning more every day and walking on a foot that is ready to take her wherever she wants to go.